like you met, stranger. The, the joke's gonna get old. But I don't care, I'm doubling down. Hey, can you guess where I am? I bet you can't. I bet you, I bet you can't. Have you, have you spotted me yet? I'm all, I'm all tucked away up there, like Canada. You know? Like, like Canada. Anyway, here I am. Ha ha ha, I was in disguise. You didn't see me, you didn't spot me for a second. Um, I did a little bit of inventory management off screen. I can't remember what I did, but I did it. Um, we're using this traveling sphere of Dapur. Does it even shed light? I don't think it does, but it doesn't matter. I have night vision. Um, I am going to be using this eyeless crab shell, uh, because why not? We could, in the future, get skill points or, um, get the shield skill. I wouldn't mind, well, I guess I might save up for another mutation, but, uh, I don't know. Can we, we can't put any more into poisoning, uh, into the stinger just yet, because, uh, we're actually capped out right now. Um, we could put some into quickness. Quickness would be very nice, but I kind of want to just leave it as is for now. Um, all of our skills are pretty good. Uh, I'm pretty, pretty happy with a lot of them. Uh, I wouldn't mind could put another point into intelligence, but I don't know if there's much point in that right now. So I might just sit on this attribute point for a bit. It's not going to make or break anything, so we may as well just keep it as is. I'm going to go ahead and eat a meal. And uh, we're going to be doing more of the same today. Uh, I really just like kind of want to hunker down and have a, a, a nice kind of like vibey sesh with the cud, you know, we're going to um, explore, the, you know, our, our salt desert, get some, uh, find some layers to dong gliders, maybe make friends with some lizards. Someone in my comments was saying I should probably kill those spiders. Uh, that is a, an option and I understand the reasoning, you know, we get, we get some really nice equipment and that is super valid. However, that group of spiders would tear me up right now, at least at level 15. I would need to get some higher AV before, um, you know, committing to that. I think this is the correct tile that we're on, so I'm just going to go ahead, make sure that we visit this tile because you really don't want to skip anything. And then we're going to be traveling around along this left plane here. And this is how I do it. I don't know if I really explain this, but it's, uh, I, I guess I kind of vaguely explained it to Narf. But if you didn't watch that series, because you're not watching literally everything that I produce, uh, no shame thrown. Uh, but basically I just hang around, hang along the left or the right side of my left tile so that I can explore two tiles at once. Uh, we're turning off music right now. I'm sorry. I love the music in this game, but this one, this track, it's a lot. And I kind of, ooh, got some, oh, gorilla. Gorilla, gorilla for sale. Oh, uh, what do you got? Loved by apes, hated by vines. We'll make friends with you. Oh, that's the, that's the monk sound, the monkey sound. Oh. Uh, yeah, so I basically hang along the left side of, uh, I keep saying that, the right side of our left screen. So, you know, if you consider that we're, we're basically exploring two lanes at once, we want to be on the left tile on the right side of the screen. And that way we know, I know that I'm on the left screen because uh, as you may have seen in the nerf in the nerf playthrough it's really easy to get confused and be like ah am i on the left screen or the right screen this keeps things simple so i just basically peek on the other on, on the other zone and uh and then i'm uh, i'm never super confused about what's going on and then you know it still happens though like i still get confused occasionally because you end up in situations like oh hey there's a ruin i'm gonna explore said ruin and then you explore said ruin and you're not sure but honestly i don't think that there's really much method that you could employ that would counteract such a you know such a, a situation oh i'm famished again do i have any boots yet oh <laughs> well okay technically no <laughs> i don't um, but yeah, we have hooks for feet. I think it's kind of strange. 
it's a weird it's a weird um quirk of this build and i i, I kind of a great quirk in a way it's kind of like um it really it, it feels similar in some ways to um narf's solution to having a second head or like not having a a, a head that you can put a hat on um we uh th there was like we really didn't get to see the fruition of that but i'm gonna go ahead and uh, go through it here but uh narf's build relies heavily on horns which is an amazing short blade weapon because it basically is uncapped pen um and uh ooh, we don't want to explore that one um the problem ouch the problem with horns is that they make it so that you cannot wear uh, a helmet. I'm explaining myself very slowly here, mostly because I'm concentrating on not fighting that Dawn Glider. And uh, I'm failing currently. Ah! I might have to... This is, this is not good. Okay, first of all, do we have any Witchwood Bark? We do have one Witchwood Bark. Let's go ahead and eat that and not be on fire. Thank you. And then, um, we do have a gun. This is our first Dawn Glider fight. Oh god, please. Exploiting the edge, exploiting the edge. I don't care, I want to leave, I don't want to die. Thank you. Yeah, so, uh, Narf's Rhinocinot can't wear a, he a helmet. At least not on his, uh, or their original build. Um, on the new build, it employs a second head, so now we can wear fun things like the uh, ganglionic teleprojector. And uh, the only reason we did that was so that the Rhinocinot could potentially um, get chromed. That was like the entire point of that. That was the entire point of having a second head. Second head is good on a Esper and mental, you know, mental um mutation type of mutant but um not so good on a physical type i mean it's okay it's all right it doesn't really offer much but the second head literally being able to wear a helmet is quite nice so it's i find it's a it's an interesting um symmetry that my build happens to have an extra set of feet so hooks for feet uh, making it so that we can't wear any fun shoes. Uh, we, we still get to because we have a second pair of feet. That was a long... How long did it take me to explain that? Let's just say six minutes. Good lord. Well, if you get your information from me about how to play Caves of Cut, I, I, I'm truly sorry. Because apparently it takes me several days to convey a very simple thing. Anyway. Um, I'm, I'm gonna be- well, actually, do I need- I don't need to kill Isakari anymore. The only reason to kill Isakari is to get some more money. Which is not a bad reason to kill Isakari. Because they do have a lot- they all wear, use daggers and, um, they have muskets and so they're good for bits and ammo and, you know. Eventually, you, if you can get a scoped Isakari rifle, then that's actually a really decent early game weapon, which I believe we are currently using. Scoped Isakari rifle. Yeah, I would argue that that is like one of the best early game... Oh, nice. Jewel encrusted. One of the best early game weapons for range. Because like, it's not, you know, it's, it's honestly like, I wouldn't say it's on par with the sniper rifle, especially a scoped sniper rifle, but like it's, it's up there. I do think it's kind of gross how we just, like, take a sip from our uh, recycling suit drams. Like, can you imagine? I mean, I guess, uh, let, let me put it in a different context. I'm sort of like one of those joggers that has, uh, you know, you ever see the joggers that have, like, the little water bottles on the side? Uh, on, like, uh, around their waist, basically, or, like, on their backpack? That's kind of like what I have. So, like, yeah, it makes sense. Um, it, it's not a, not a big deal, but I can't imagine that the water in a recycling suit not being, like, kind of warm and, like, having that flavor of, um, 
that kind of stale flavor of like not not fresh like this is this water has been processed at least once so that does not sound very appealing to me um all right we got our on gliders ooh uh, apparently i've been on that tile before feel like i've been a lot of the a lot of these places before but i'm i'm going to commit I would we definitely been here before. I'm going to commit. Did I guess we looked at that statue? So yeah, we'll go into highlight mode. I like to I like to, you know, it's a new session and I like to kinda, you know, uh get into uh, a groove of things and I certainly am now, so we'll We'll go ahead and go into highlight mode. I hope you've uh, been appreciating that because it's not that it's extra work, but it definitely is extra time that um, doesn't actually contribute much. So, okay, here's our village. We've definitely been here before. I swear, so what? what is happening? How have I, how is it that I've explored this tile, this, this lane? Oh, that's new. Oh, I, and that is... Oh, there's no legendaries here? Oh, there's just a lot of yuck wheat. Oh, and some star apple. I'll definitely take some star apple. All right, so let's go into highlight mode. I'll see you soon. Oh, you know what? Never mind. Uh, we just got two bananas. And we can cook with them. Uh, that is going to make it so that I can cheese Golgotha, and I kind of wouldn't mind doing that. I don't think I want to do it this episode because even though we can cheese Golgotha, that, that does not remove the threat of Golgotha completely. Um, so let me see here. First of all, let's, uh, wow. I don't think I've ever had so much yuck wheat ever. And that's actually pretty good trade goods. But one thing I wouldn't mind doing is, do we have anything that we can uh, tink learn to tinker in our inventory? Um, bu 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 yeah, we've, oh, by the way, ha ha ha, I, I found in the six day stilt a data disk for reprogrammable or sorry, programmable recoilers, which is a really, really nice find. So that, that is like excellent. And we won't, uh, it won't take us too long to get there because it's only Tinker 2. Um, did I, do I not have my precinct navigator equipped? No, I do. That's our spare. Uh, good to have a spare. We have a couple of grenades. Um, we have flashbang grenades. EMP grenades aren't bad. Poison gas, resonance. We actually have a fairly good selection. The one thing I wouldn't mind having is some freeze grenades. Those are like, I think, you know, necessary. Um, oh, we could learn how to make solar cells. That would be nice. I don't know what happened to our chem cells. Are they like currently? Okay, there's a couple in a recoiler. I just realized that most, um, oh, okay, never mind. Kyakuka was red. I, I, I really like this. I, I kind of wish I had, um, an option occasionally to recolor some of our items. Cause I, I really like the recoilers actually being like colored. <clears throat> I wonder if there's a way to like paint them or something. I, I would be, that would legitimately make me happy. Um, so I was just thinking if like maybe we could use some of our bananas to uh, figure out how to make some of our stuff because we do have some useful things that knowing how to tinker would be good. But I think we're okay for now. So I'll just go back into highlight mode. Never mind because we have already found a point of interest. That's gonna or yeah, we're doing a bait and switch a couple of times now. Suits me fine because that means I'm not recording in silence and contemplating existence. You know. Like that pops line from a uh, regular show. Is it? Let's go upstairs and think about our existence. You know, uh, it's one of my favorite lines from that show. Counterweighted bronze dagger. I don't want to fight you guys. I I don't actually want to fight any Isakari. Y'all are cool with me. Sort of. I don't know. Isakari are, are very, um, what's the word, cantankerous. 
They're they're a very frustrated bunch, and I don't me I don't blame them necessarily. Uh, all right. So now we will go into highlight mode, maybe, in case something interesting happens in the next five seconds. In which case, uh, then I will briefly pull us out. But yeah. Anyway, I'll see you soon. You know, one thing I will do. Uh, this uh, we're not. <laughs> we did. You didn't miss that much. Is we just got some star apple jam. Quite a lot of it, actually. Um, do we have any pickled mushrooms? I don't think we do. I would like to try and get our meal. I think I'm just going to go for star apple jam and vine wafer sheaf because it's a, a higher chance of happening and then maybe we can improve it later. Uh, yeah, there it is. Whenever you drink of fresh water, there's a 25% chance one of your status. Classic meal. Classic. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead and cook from a recipe. We're going to go ahead and add that to favorites i would like i don't know if uh how difficult it would be to set this up it would be really nice if like when you cook a recipe if you had the option to like set it as a favorite right away because i do end up cooking a lot of meals that i don't end up using now that i've like actually grown to you know just use cooking i would say to the fullest um I, I, I end up cooking a lot of things. Now here is a... Have we already set this as a place? This is our... This is our spider. I, apparently I have... Uh, I don't know when I made the mistake, but I, I accidentally... Um, explored a lane I already did. Dislike by oozes! I think this is a different spider. Disliked by dogs, hated by... Okay, yeah, we definitely have to kill this lad. I, I want to be friends with oozes. Um, doing this is going to be tricky. There's a lot of them over there. We could lure them one by one. We could also just, like, shoot them from afar. Let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to take some pot shots. It wouldn't be a bad idea to, to be... Ooh, did I end up killing one? I don't think I did. It wouldn't be a bad idea to take um, rifles and bows and rifles as a skill. I, I'm not doing a very good job. I'm just, like, firing everything. Did I buy my ammo, the ammo from Mafio? It's, like, the best thing to do as soon as you get there, because, like, then you never have to worry about ammo ever again. Okay, I think our legendary is coming over, which is unfortunate because they're going to be dragging everyone else. Um, oh, we killed... A majority of them you never know we might get lucky and kill the rest I would I, I just want to like not have to fight the void spiders because they can pack a punch our quickness is making it so that we can fire a couple of times occasionally which is really nice I'm a little bit worried that he's gonna have some kind of um, Mutation. That's going to make things difficult on me. Okay, one of our... Wow, did we kill almost all of the greater... Vo or the, the Voidlings? What is it happening? Oh, Carapace loosens. They have Carapace. That's their, like, main mutation, huh? Oh, cool, we did it. Gersh decreased to negative. I know uh, this sucks. I kind of wish I could be on good terms with Gersh. Maybe that I mean, it's a lot of reputation to make up But uh, I feel like ooze rep is like far more important and also I highly value villager rep It's it's like actually really important to me oh. 
That was really funny. They just like teleported away. There we go. Wow, that was actually really easy. All right, let's see what you got. Okay, so I don't know if this is the one. Yeah, I don't think this is the one that that uh, comment guy in the comments was saying I should go kill because uh, they don't have nearly as many nice things. Um, it's, it's not bad, but it could be like far better. Vine weave tunic is not nearly as good as what I'm wearing. Uh, we don't have butchery, right? Which is why my character, I, I, when I auto explore, yeah, it's because that's why when I auto explore, I'm not like going and and chopping up scorpioc, uh, corpses. Oh, there's actually one more void spiderling. I'll let them live to tell the tale of this hor horrifying massacre. All right, and we'll go back into highlight mode. See you soon. Tell you what, I might start trying... If I see, like, two dawn gliders, or one dawn, dawn glider, I might try and um, start hunting them, because they are pretty good experience, and also, well, I, I wouldn't mind having butchery at this point. Maybe if I put one more point into intelligence, I can afford butchery because it's really not that expensive. Yeah, I think that's worth it. Uh, if we're going to start hunting dawn gliders, I think it would be worth having butchery. Okay, we are out of ammo. I might have to take a trip to Greek Gate. Oh, I guess we can fly. So I can actually melee dawn gliders. Didn't even realize that. We could have been fighting dong gliders for a while now, actually. That is pretty funny. Okay, we're actually at the bottom of our two lanes now. I think I just want to go up... Ooh, is this a... Yeah, we got a legendary tortoise. What is your deal? Loved by tortoises, hated by roots. Ah... Uh, my brain first read that as frogs, and then read it as robots, and then it read it as roots, and I was like, ah, I couldn't care less. I could not care less about roots. Would be nice if we could make friends with tortoises, though. Um, so... We, uh, we're not, um, we're not inspired. So I'm just gonna make a note of this. Uh, legend tortoise make friends and then we'll come back when we have a proper recipe for doing so and nighttime is descending upon us so let's go ahead and just wait through it oh we got an isakari we could get a little bit more ammo might uh nah whoa 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 what they had an extra dimensional sword Extra dimensional longsword. What does that do for us? What? 12% chance to dismember on hit. I just got very lucky. Not to die or uh, lose a limb there. This item recently materialized in this dimension, having inherited some properties from its home dimension, the Colossal Sickle. Uh, that should count as lore. I'm surprised that I'm not getting the prompt like, hey, you note the that there, there's other dimensions in one... Oh, I did. I did note it in the, my gossip and lore. There exists a dimension known as the Colossal Sickle. Okay. Well, uh, that is a very lucky find. I don't know. Like, I'll definitely not use that. Um, and I don't think you can learn how to modify long blades. Like, you can't modify uh, a long blade with extra dimensional. I think you just have to find those. So it's, it's a really kind of unlucky find in a way. I mean, it's extremely lucky, but at the same time, I'm never going to use this. So uh, kind of sucks. Anyway, that's that was an interesting find. Nonetheless. Uh, oh, that, that's probably a fungled dong glider. Yeah. Oh, we'll, we'll fight fungled dong glider. Are 
Are they not flying? What's the deal? Apparently they weren't flying. Are they flying now? Confusing. Oh god. This is why I don't pick fights with dong gliders unless I have a ranged weapon. Alright, tonic time. You know what? Um, I think we're just gonna leave. I died! <sighs> I should have, uh, I had a force bracelet. I could have just force bracelet recoiled. But I thought, hey, I have wings, I'll fly away and then deal with it. But apparently that was not in the cards. So that's really frustrating. All right, well, I guess we're making a new game. That was a really good one. So that sucks. Um, just gonna do last and we'll try again. Um, no longer Qmit. Uh, Yagak, sure. I'm gonna be doing the same build. Do I, do I wanna do Jopa? Why don't we do something different? I'm gonna do Salt Dunes. I am actually really cheesed at that. Like, I was like really struggling to actually meet the Dawn Glider at, at like face value because they kept flying and not flying. And then the second one, that's just really, that's just really frustrating. And I, of course you can't really run away when you're on fire because you're taking damage. So you have to either like take damage while flying or it was just a bad situation. That just really sucked. I can't believe I died to Dawn Gliders of all things. Uh, that's such a bummer. All right, well, um, we're doing our, I feel like this is like our first, uh, randomized village start. So that's fun. Um, so we've got our quest. Let's go ahead and set our stinger as... Our primary weapon and then kill our zealot goodbye um, and then we'll go and talk to our various people I'm looking for work talk to Chaya Tialoto or Tioto I don't know um, all right where are you I guess I have to do an explore first <clears throat> All right. Ironically, I am now in a village of dawn gliders, so you know the uh, it, that's pretty fun. I will pray. My ploy has nearly come to fruition. There is but one more step. I need someone to go to Asteroid Rose Car Calep and pray at the shrine to Shalexis the Second. The Datara Terror there. No, I cannot tell you why. Okay, fine. Um, village Tinker, do you have? work Kulaxto legendary dawn glider my scheme is nearly complete only one more thing to do i need someone to go to the lair of kaka 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 ka, legendary dawn glider and put something on the godly book table there no i cannot tell you why sure the godly book table love that um i think i'll try that but i'm not going to like i'm not going to roam around too much because we're at level one so we can die stupidly easily wow we just leveled up three times and we are met with a bunch of uh chameleons which is a little scary i'll put a point into intelligence and um i'm gonna put a few points into multiple legs as many as i can that's as many as i can uh and then i'll put some skill points into long blades. Where is long blade? Long blade. Yep. We can't yet take lunge, which kind of sucks. But we can take defensive stance, which we are already in. Are we... No, we're not on good terms with anyone here. Make no mistake. It sucks that we're... It's nighttime right now. Um, there's Isakari on one side. I miss my wings. Uh, I'm actually gonna hit the bricks. 
frog is actually kind of keeping up with, with me there, which is scary, considering I have, like, a lot of movement speed, and also I have, uh, I, you know, I was, I was sprinting. The, the frog was doing a pretty good job there. Um, all right, so that is, like, you know, we leveled up a few times just by visiting that place. Let's go to the other site. What is our actual quest here? Travel to the, uh, pray to the shrine. We'll do an auto explore. What a bummer. I can't believe I died to dawn gliders. Like, I, it's not that they're pushovers. They're not. But like at the same time, they're really easy to avoid. I really didn't have to die in that way. Um, we found a, the an altar. Do we have to pray here? Yes. Okay. We leveled up again. Your genome enters an excited state. We will put it into our stinger. Rank four. Uh, we return home. Talk to Kuxalatl. Oh, no. Talk to the other one. Chaya Katalotl. Whatever. <laughs> Chaya Teolotl. Teotl. I don't know. I don't know. I prayed. Give me my boon. Um, symbiotic Firefly as a as a boon i i love that that is fantastic one of my favorite items honestly i love the symbiotic firefly um okay so let's eat our food larvae with spine larvae diced dong glider tail and roasted larvae <laughs> a lot of larvae in there uh, and it gives us quill fling Gives us pyrokinesis at level two and quills at level six. That means we just unequipped our um, recycling suit. Oh, kind of a bummer, honestly. We're gonna go back here. I still have my quills. Um, we're gonna sting you. Did we literally? We we got to keep our quills for like exactly one turn. That's hilarious. Oh god. I mean, it's fine. We're much faster than all of these lads, but still. Still. What, what happened to our stinger? Oh, I see. It's on cooldown. Uh, how much XP is a chameleon worth? 125. Worth it. And I'm getting some help from the Asakari, which is kind of fun. Are you friends? We're, I'm actually friends with Isakari. How did that happen? Oh, it's because I'm wearing an Isakari banner. That's why. I don't know if I like randomly spawned with that or if that was like part of my build. I know we're like kind of close to death here, but weird artifact. I'll take all of these. Um, we'll sting that lad. There we go, level six. Um, we got an attribute point in all things. We also have enough for lunge, which I will take. I'm not sure what I want to take next. I mean, cooking and gathering is the obvious one. Let's take cooking and gathering. I would like to get Carbide Chef as soon as possible so we can start generating some recipes. But the important one is that we have Sting and Lunge. I think you can maybe put on multiple status of poison effects. I'm not sure. Let's try. Sting. So they're poisoned. And then, um... Oh, they resist the effects of your venom. Okay, so, you know. That's fine. One of the Isakari died, we will take their rifle. And I mean, like, outside of the fact that I lost wings and 15 levels, well, 10 levels, um, we're pretty much back to where we were, you know? Like, it's, it's, we're, we're cool. Kind of sucks. Can't cook with hostiles nearby. Okay, what do we want to cook with? Oh, we only have salt hopper? Oh, we don't have butcher, right? We just lost that. Do we have enough to take it? Nope. Can we put some more points into multiple legs? Yes. 
Ah, I just want to get to 100, plus 100 move speed. That's like the golden number in my opinion. Well, uh, we are nearing the end of the episode here. Ooh, we have a Dromad Caravan. I wouldn't mind checking that out. Ow. They just crit me twice. It's a little bit nasty. Okay, uh, uh, this might be the end of me, actually. Yep. Cool. Died twice in one episode. Nice. Uh, yeah, you shouldn't take on two ice frogs at once. All right, well, we'll try again in the next episode. Uh, yeah, sometimes this happens. So I'll uh, see you guys next time. If you want to hit the like button and uh, consider subscribing, it would mean a lot. And uh, take it easy.